What's better than a sweep elbow? The answer is under this box, but I can't tell you about it just yet. First, we have to talk a little bit about why is a sweep elbow even good to begin with? Why are we using this thing and paying way extra to get them versus the alternatives? I'm going to answer those questions for you. I'm going to show you what's under the box, and you might be surprised. So what is the point of a sweep elbow, and why do we need something like that anyway? Well, I think that the story actually starts with me about nine years ago making content for the internet, writing articles, YouTube videos, talking about this fitting right here, the dreaded street elbow. It's a slip port on one side, which is fine, but we have a spigot port on the other, so that glues into another fitting. It's And it's really like the hydraulic equivalent of a brick wall, because it doesn't help the water to transition the turn at all. As a result, there's an, a, an unusually high amount of energy loss, friction created in this fitting versus every other option that you have available to you to negotiate a corner, whether it be a short radius elbow or a sweep elbow or 245s you glued together or some heat bent pipe. There's a lot of options to use and all of them are better than this guy here. So I went on a little bit of a tirade the better part of a decade ago, made a lot of content about these because their builders and installers were using these as the only way that they would transition a 90 degree bend. Everything was done with street elbows and it made no sense to me at all. These were more expensive than short radius 90s. They're way worse in terms of the friction loss. They're just a terrible choice all around. It's a bad choice for the pool installer. It's a bad choice for the pool owner. Just don't use them. So then I started talking about sweep elbows because like if you're going to do better, let's let's go for the gold here. And that's these guys here, the long radius 90. This is a short radius 90. This is actually perfectly acceptable to use. And people often get hung up a little bit hunting for the sweep elbows because there's a lot of content out there, again, much of it by myself, talking about how sweeps are better than a short radius elbow. And it is true. There is less friction loss with a sweep fitting versus a short radius 90. Still, this is a perfectly acceptable fitting to use by the dozen when you're installing a swimming pool. No problem at all. And I'm going to get to that a little bit in, in a second here when I show you what's inside the box. But first I want to talk about why all this matters. When it comes to efficiency, it's good to make small incremental changes. That's what we have here. We have a small incremental change to something more efficient with a sweep versus a standard short radius 90. And again, we're doing great if we're ignoring the street elbows altogether. So why would we make small incremental changes to the efficiency by adding something like sweep elbows when there's still major efficiency improvements to be had using what I have underneath the box here. We're almost there. So that's what this comes down to. It's not really about hunting for sweep elbows specifically. It's a good thing that you're trying to improve the hydraulic performance and efficiency of your filtration system. That is a good pursuit, but there's a better way to go about it most of the time. This isn't just for every swimming pool. Like every swimming pool would benefit from having a sweep elbow versus a short radius 90 times 10 or times 20, depending on how many you use for your installation. You've definitely made improvements to the hydraulic efficiency. But if you're really worried about it, I would have taken every dollar that I spent hunting down and buying these sweep elbows, which is which are hard to find and pressure rated, and I would have spent all that money for this. What? Bamboozle. Another 90. A short radius 90. But a two and a half inch short radius 90. Almost all of the incremental improvements that you could get to flow by using something like a sweep elbow versus a short radius 90 would probably be better allocated towards looking at increasing the pipe size of your filtration system. What it comes down to is laminar flow. We want to have laminar flow. This is how water moves efficiently. Inch and a half pipe 
can move up to 38 gallons per minute efficiently before we start to introduce a lot of turbulence and friction. Two inch pipe like you see here has a maximum of about 65 gallons per minute. So if we have a sweep elbow, then we're really preserving that 65 gallons per minute. But if we jump up in size to something like this two and a half inch 90, well, we can have laminar flow up to 90 gallons per minute. Wouldn't that be better? Because probably you want a lot of flow. I would rather have 90 gallons per minute efficient rather than 65 gallons per minute nickel and diming efficiency out of a plumbing system which really could have been better built with larger plumbing. Before you go out there and start cutting apart your pool systems and installing larger plumbing, this is a complicated equation. You don't just install larger fittings, boom, there we go, we're done. This is a consideration that you have to make where you're investing in efficiency and there's going to be a multitude of things that we have to consider like suction line water velocity. You might need to add another skimmer to your pool to you know, allow for the amount of flow that we're going to need that we're going to be generating with a large system like this. You might need to increase the size of your filter to handle the, the kind of high flow that we're going to be using and maybe a different pump to match up with that as well. So there's a lot of considerations here. You can't just go out and start making your pool plumbing larger. But if you're looking at this from a design perspective and you're trying to figure out what can I do to make my pool more efficient, yes, sweep elbows are a good thing. But probably you could make an argument for looking at the cost versus benefit for increasing the, the plumbing line sizes that you use for your swimming pool. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.